Julius Whittier, an excellent football player and a dramatic game changer in Texas Longhorn Athletics history. Julius came to the University of Texas in 1969 as one of the first African Americans ever to receive a football scholarship from UT. And in 1970, he became the first of his race to earn a letter in football for the Longhorns. Known for his exceptional quickness off the ball as an offensive lineman, he began his Texas career as an outstanding player for Coach Bill Ellington on the Longhorn freshman team in 1969. As part of three straight Southwest Conference championship teams and a national champion in 1970, Julius played as an offensive tackle during the seasons of 70 and 1971. He completed his Longhorn career by moving to tight end for his senior season, 1972. Following graduation, he went on to earn a degree from the LBJ School of Public Affairs in 1976 and completed a law degree as well. For much of his professional career, he's worked as a senior prosecutor in the Dallas County District Attorney's Office. Nominated by the Vintage Committee for his tremendous contributions to Texas and to Longhorn football, here is your next inductee. Ladies and gentlemen, Julius Whittier. I've never had an opportunity as this to talk about one of my most favorite activities. Um, sports of any kind was a, an appetite for me, and uh, the people I met in ex exercising those, those uh, pastimes, um, and many of them are here today. Um, I'm privileged to be one of the newest inductees in the University of Texas Hall of Honor, and I'm reading from notes prepared. It was a great, it was an idea that never crossed my mind but I am pleased to be standing before you today to accept my place in the Hall of Honor of the University of Texas. From the depths of my heart, I thank the nominating and voting committee members for their conf confidence that I would be a worthy inductee. I came to UT from, your, from Highlands High School in San Antonio. Um, willing to, I was willing to take new relationships and new friends to an, and an experience and opportunity far different from my normal activities. Recruited by a phenomenal coaching team of Coach Mike Campbell, who sat in our living room in San Antonio, speaking to me and my parents of the benefits of coming to Texas. To my fresh, freshman coach, Bill Ellington, to finishing up my varsity season with Coach Royal, I again thank you for his honor. As a member of the Texas football team, I established me meaningful relationships with the coaches on the team as I did with my teammates, a number of them lifelong. Billy Dale, my first roommate. David Arledge, who helped make dorm, dorm harassing bearable when I was a freshman. And many young athletes I have encouraged along the way, Ivy Suver, Roosevelt Leakes, Lonnie Bennett, and many others. As the first African American to play and letter in football at UT, I must say it was a maturing experience for me. Coach Royal was a disciplinarian and presented a fair deal to most of, most of us that understood his goals. I was not given special treatment, but was expected to produce, like everyone, more than my fellow players. I never saw myself as a maverick, but more as a member of a team that exhibited greatness on the field and off. I considered Coach Royal my dad from, my, my, from another, my, excuse me, my dad from another pad where I matured, learned discipline, and most importantly, learned how to play football on a winning team. But not for Coach Royal, the amazing UT football staff and friends I made there, I would not be standing here today. Hook'em horns.